Chicago electronic music production class versus Armin Van Buren teaches dance music class on masterclass.com. All right, that's what we'll be talking about today. These are two very intense music production courses, two very different music production courses. And I'm going to go over some of the differences. And throughout this video, I'm going to talk about the differences, obviously. Um, go through an overview of both classes, uh, what I got out of them, are they worth it? Uh, masterclass.com as a whole, monthly.com as a whole as well. There is discount code down for the Kygo class, and there also is a link down in the description below for the masterclass if you want to sign up as a member. I paid for my class, my membership to masterclass.com, but I also am an affiliate of them. So if you do choose to sign up with my link or, or for them with my link, I will make a small commission and no additional charge to yourself. And with the Kygo class here, if you sign up with my link, there's a discount for you, and I will get uh, a $20 credit towards my next class on monthly.com as well. So that's pretty cool. It's a win-win-win situation. And also, I have a bunch of other stuff down here in the video description below. These are links to all the songs I made in the Kygo class. I did four. You only do, you're supposed to do three in the class, but it gives you lots of, uh, I think there's like 35 songs that you can produce with the vocal tracks already recorded. We're going to be going into all that in a second. Um, I also have a tutorial here that I did myself, producing a song using only stock plugins and in instruments from Logic Pro. Uh, there's a tutorial there I made. I actually used one of the songs that he gave in the class. I kind of went through with that. And then I have another video coming out soon, another video series, producing an album using only samples from Splice. That's coming soon. It might be out by the time you're watching this video. Subscribe on my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified when those videos come out. I also have tons of other songwriting production tips here at this website. And I also took a bunch of the other monthly classes as well that you can check out reviews for them. Ryan Tedder, Blanks, Louis Bell, so much good stuff. Anyways, let's get into this. And by the way, masterclass.com too, when you get a membership there, it comes with all access to all of their classes. Now that's at the time I'm making this video. There is a 30 day money back guarantee at masterclass.com too. So you can sign up and if you don't like it, you know, cancel it or whatever. Um, but they also have Timberland producing beat making, St. Vincent Craven songwriting, Carlos Satana, blah, 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 Dead Mouse electronic music production. Just all the classes are included. Like I said, we're going to go over all that. But let's get into this. First of all, let's talk about the Armin class here. So this is a video series, and also there's a PDF that goes along with it, a workbook. All of the master classes come with a PDF. So you can download the workbooklet, you go along with the videos. You read the, uh, the the PDF. We'll take a look at the PDF here in a second since I got the videos up. So his masterclass here is six hours and 50 minutes with 33 videos. Now he goes into a lot with this. Um, finding melodic inspiration, building your home studio, templates and organization and Logic Pro. And by the way, Kygo and, and our men here both use Logic Pro. You do not have to use Logic Pro to take these courses. I happen to use Logic Pro, which is a benefit to me, but these are more of their processes, their insight, how they create their songs and everything. And if you're experienced with your own DAW, you could follow along much easier than if you're an absolute beginner. If you are an absolute beginner, um, you're going to learn a lot from this too. It could be overwhelming at times. Even if you're very experienced, this stuff could be very overwhelming at times. Um, you know, it's, it's a, you know, there's a lot to it. So that's, you know, that's, there's that. So I'm not going to go into all the videos here. Let's go back to the PDF here. Well, not back to it. Let's go to the PDF of our men's class here and we'll look, take a look at that because it goes along with the videos and then we'll take an overview of the videos as well. All right. So here we are in the PDF. There's a little note from him and stuff like that. Uh, all that fun stuff. And then there's an introduction about, and then if you look at the introduction here about this workbook, the masterclass team has created this workbook as a supplement to Armin's class. In each chapter, you'll find a review of Armin's video lesson, explanation of key concepts, opportunities to learn more, and assignments to test your skills. Uh, they've included a guide, a fundamental guide for you, reference basic, to, or guide for, for you to reference basic terminology, equipment, and a list of tracks Armin will use throughout the class. And then you can go here. Um, there's also a community here on masterclass.com that we'll be taking a look at as well. You're encouraged to discuss you know, the elements of the class and work with your classmates in the hub. You can also put stuff up there for feedback and stuff like that. 
let's just take a look at example of one of the assignments and stuff and to take it further parts because like i said this goes along with the chapters of the video so for example finding melodic inspiration and then there's sub chapters listed here there's a review of the chapter and in, in the pdf workbooklet and then there's opportunity here to learn more you can listen to songs there's links to different stuff like that he also includes a logic profile that we'll go over in a while in a bit here as well with his class and then there's the assignment here Armin shares a number of techniques he used to get the create get creative in and out of the studio what have you found works best for you share your personal creativity tips in the hub so that's just one example of one of the assignments all the other assignments obviously are different that go along with the chapters in this course and then there's also a good reference thing here to all the plugins that he uses in this course again you don't have to have all these things i don't have half of these i have a hollow room i think i have a bunch of stuff it's more about his process and how he does it and how you can emulate it into your process um and let's so yeah let's go back to the videos here because like i said the pdf goes along pretty much the same way then there's assignments for every class now the monthly classes are a little bit different i kind of like the monthly ones a little bit better in the sense that you your tasks that you do you have to it's like a three-part thing because there's three songs they unlock a certain part of the class for the first x amount of days i think it's days one through eight you get tasks to do you have to upload them for the community to leave feedback and then you move on to the next lesson on masterclass.com here you could just watch all the videos all the way through and get a lot out of it and then go to the pdf it's but you could also read the pdf and go back and forth it's uh but the way the monthly ones are laid out it's a for me it's a little bit my personal opinion is a little bit better but like i said we'll go into that more in depth coming up so let's move back to the videos here for his class. His lessons include finding melodic inspiration, and then he talks about building your home studio. There's templates and organization and Logic Pro, just the templates that he uses and stuff like that to get your workflow going. In the studio part one, Melody, he, he works with his co-producer here, and they, they bust out Melody and stuff like that. Then they do work, working with pads and leads. And they do a lot of doubling of things. And then in the studio part two, leads and pads again. And in the studio part three, more leads. And then there's creating a groove part one, creating a groove part two, and the studio part four, adding groove and bass, and then in the studio part five, the big payoff, kind of building drops and stuff, I think that's, that's this video here, I believe. Um, and then mixing and mastering part one, mixing and mastering part two, and then in the studio part six, cleaning up the mixing, and then mixing and arranging case study, be in the moment. Now he does a whole song here that he starts from scratch within this course. And like I said, you follow along with the PDF, you do your assignments, you can build your own track or whatever. Um, I did not build a track with this with this course. I did with the Kygo one. I did, actually did four tracks with the Kygo class. Um, like I said, we'll get into that in a second. And then he goes into arranging and stuff like that. He talks about in the studio part seven, percussion and arranging. In the studio part eight, building the drop, reviewing the track. Uh, my bad that this one's the drop video. I said the other one might have been. Um, and then working with lyrics and vocals, they do a tracking session here. He tracks on then his comping, comping the vocal tracks and then editing and mixing the vocals. So that's three different videos there. And then there's a single club mixes and edits. He goes into a lot of like what he does, his approach to DJing, which comes in with the edits and stuff like that. And then building a set list, edits and mashups. And then he goes into a video about DJing using the decks, using the decks are his techniques and then performance tips. And then he talks about hosting a radio show and then his early influences. And then he talks about career advice and stuff like that, starting starting and growing your career and then in closing. So like I said, it's a lot of, lot of jam-packed stuff here. It's uh, close to seven hours worth of video. I watched it over a few day period to get everything going. And then there's a, also a community here as well. So this is the community page on masterclass.com of his course. Every class on masterclass.com has a community page. And with your membership, you do get access to all their classes. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go over that again, coming up in the video. But as you can see here, you can download his, the logic file from here, which I'm gonna show you in a bit as well. Um, just introduce yourself, leave, leave things for uh, review and stuff like that from other people in the class. Um, and it's, you know, the class is always going on. So there's no, there's no like, you know, uh, time limits or whatever on this stuff the kygo class has more of a time li limit because it is a 30-day experience totally immersive now let's get into kygo's class here just that's a quick overview of our mins i know i'm, I'm going fast 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm gonna go over some more stuff as the video goes along, like I said. All right, so now, in the electronic music production from the monthly.com, this is a completely different kind of approach to, to the way you learn here, because in this you get, it's a one month commitment. It's, you're gonna need five to 10 hours a week for four weeks to get immersed in the process. Now, I do have a link in the video description below for a discount, and sometimes there's the classes, there's a waiting list. Uh, class starts August 2nd for this one, which was passed already. So you might have to join a waiting list or whatever, or in my recommendation, maybe take one of the other monthly music production classes. There's about five, six of them on here total. I took all of them actually the, at the time of making this video, all the ones that were out. Um, so you get three polished songs out of this. Level up your creating, level up by creating three release ready songs by the end of this class. You can check out my songs that I did. I actually did four. I might have more out by the time you did this. They're on my other YouTube channel. There'll be links in the description below. I went along with the class and did exactly what he did. Well, not exactly, but you know, using his techniques and stuff like that. And this is for beginners or advanced that will level you up. Again, he uses Logic Pro. You don't have to use Logic Pro. You just kind of emulate what he's doing in your own DAW and get going. We're gonna take a look inside here in a second. But song one, you do a synth lead drop. So he starts his process by, you know, the, he has a bunch of songs. Um, these ones you aren't actually writing the songs. You can use your own songs if you wrote your songs. I decided to, to um, use the songs they provided. They got very well professional recorded vocal tracks and the songs already recorded for you. So you just drop them into your DAW, pick your tempo, pick the key, whatever, and you're good to go. And he demonstrates that, how he picks a song too and all that stuff. And then for the first song that he does in this class and that you do along with him, is that you do a synthly drop song as your first song. And then he always starts with the drop. He, he starts with the biggest part of the song and then works backwards from there. And then the second song, you do a vocal drop drop where you take you know the vocals and put them in samplers, slice them up and everything. And then, and then you create new melodies with that. He shows you all those techniques and stuff like that. He kind of does the same exact thing, you know, working from the drop backwards in the song, the, pre the build up, all that stuff and then the verses and then you know developing your sound so the third song is more about approaching your with your own unique sound and producing you know after all the techniques that you learned in the first two you go into the third song with by developing your own sound um, and you kind of just do another song with with uh with these techniques and stuff like that so let's take a look at and let's go inside here so when you sign up, you're going to build, set up a little profile of yourself. You can put your social media links in there and everything. Um, and then there's a, there's, a, there's a peer group here as well. And then there's your learning path and there's the curriculum. Right now, we're going to go here. So there's a little pre-class thing too, which is cool. Um, so the welcome video. Sometimes the classes don't start to a specific day. So if you sign up a week ahead of time, you get all the pre-class stuff out of the way, which is great. And then you can invite friends and get credits for yourself. Tools and equipment you need. And then the fundamentals of music software. Uh, and then the fundamentals of music theory. And then selecting the demos for your class. And which I'm going to show you something here in a second about that. And then how to get the most out of the peer group. So what equipment do you need for this class? Let's take a look at this real quick. So um, he recommends, well, he uses Logic Pro X. Um, like I said, you could use Ableton. You can use GarageBand. You could use all the other stuff that they recommend here. There is free trials. If you have a Mac, you already have GarageBand. There are free trials here and stuff like that. You could get links from them. Uh, Ableton Live 10, you could get Logic for I think a 90 day trial as well. So if you don't have these programs and you wanna use what he's using, download the free demo or whatever if you have a Mac, or, you know, or use whatever your DAW you're already familiar with because that's gonna help you out along the way because this is not these are not classes on how to use DAWs. You know what I'm saying? It's like, is how to their process on producing stuff. And then they have headphones. Um, of course, he has his own signature headphones here. And then there's, I have these ones actually. Um, I think I have these ones too. But anyways, and then you're gonna do a MIDI keyboard or something. Now they say these things are not necessary, but it's nice for additions. It's easier. Um, if some of the programs you could use your actual computer keyboard to program stuff. I have a nice digital piano. I have nice headphones, I have nice speakers. You're gonna need a sound card. You probably already have this stuff if you're into music production. Uh, these are his favorite synth and stuff that he uses. 
Um, I actually I have a splice account now. I didn't when I signed up, but I got one. Um, I don't have the sense that he used, but I do have some context stuff. Like I said, it's not 100% necessary. Uh, obviously, you're gonna need some speakers to play stuff with, um, and some microphones. Now, microphones for his class, I don't really necessarily think you need as much because if you're not recording your own vocals, um, you don't really need a microphone, in my in my opinion. Um, so yeah, and then you have their audio interface and stuff like that. And then, you know, just room treatment stuff or whatever. So that's what you're going to need for the class. And then there's a music fundam fundamentals of music theory here. A case if you, you know, not, not familiar with music theory. And let's go back to the next part here. Let's look, look over project one. He goes into a video about selecting songs, the way he does it. Um, and then the best way to get engaged with the community and peers. So you get, you get like a, a group of 20 other students that are going to be giving you feedback and you're going to be giving feedback on them. Now, most all the people that were in my peer group were really talented. The songs were really cool. And then you just give feedback here and there and they give feedback on your stuff as well. So it's a community thing like that. Um, so some of the things that he does in this, let's go here. So he does an introduction to the class. This is days one through 13 actually yeah 1 through 13 selecting and deconstructing the demo ex experimenting with the drop melody and then you have assignment here to do that for yourself and you he shows you what to do you go do it you upload it you get feedback all that fun stuff adding production to create more powerful drop which is an hour video on that for some reason this is marked as I didn't do it even though it's done building the building uh, or producing the build up like I said he works backwards producing the drop and build that's where you upload yours and then you get feedback on people's and you get feedback on yours and then producing the chorus a 40 minute video there and then adding in intro first first verse and pre-chorus and then you go into uploading yours you get feedback you get feedback on yours so on and so forth and then he goes into creating a full cohesive arrangement and then you do your fine tuning or no fine tuning and mixing and mastering he does in the next one and then you finish your song, your first song project is done. And that's in with the first 13 days. And sometimes it's really intense, you know, because you have to go back and keep doing stuff like this. The class is here. The videos here are only so much part of the class. You have to put all the work in to do this stuff. So it's, you know, pretty intense, like I said. So then the second part of the class is days 14 through 24, which is almost the same, but he does a vocal chop drop in this song. So then he does selecting the song, vocal chops and effects, blah, 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 vocal chops. He does the vocal chops, constructing a vocal chop and drop and building up to it. And then build, producing and the same thing. You upload your stuff, you get feedback and then working backwards to pr produce the first half of the song. So yeah, a lot of in-depth stuff here. It kind of repeats. Then, like I said, you do your polish mix master, blah, blah, blah. You upload your finished track, you get your feedback and all that good stuff. And then days 25 to 30 is finding your sound and doing another song, developing your own sound. And he, I don't think he does a song. Yeah, he doesn't do another demo of him working through his process again, because he already did it twice in the first two sections of this. But this is when you just kind of do the same process again to a different song. Now the library that they give you here, where is it? Um, you have access to this library of all these different songs. And these are high quality royalty free songs that can be used in monthly electronic music production class with Kygo. Um, they give you the key, the tempo, and all that stuff like that in, in the lyrics. Um, some of the songs are with female vocals and male vocals. They give you two options. Some of them are just female, some are just vocals, or some are just uh, whatever, fe either female or male. Uh, and then you can use these songs in your own productions even after the class is finished. You're also free to publish the productions you make with these demos. So really, really cool. I've uploaded some of the songs. Well, I actually, like I said, I finished my three songs, actually four, because I did an extra one and I started doing some other ones just for fun. And like I said, they're on my other channel. Maybe I'll play some here for you now. Actually, let me do that. All right, so this is actually the second song I did with a vocal chop drop. Um, and I'm going to start from the pre-course, I guess, or the build up to the drop. So let's check it out.
So that was after the first chorus. I didn't actually play the chorus, but it, that was the drop, the build up drop, and then a, the vocal chop drop or whatever, and back into the second verse. So stuff like that is really cool. Obviously, the video is not part of the class. I just made the video separately. Um, let me do another song here real quick. This was the first one I did. It started all right, all this So that's the verse, obviously. So that was the second song to the judge. Um, I actually did a tutorial of this one myself that you can check out of me producing this song from scratch on, and with only using Logic Pro stuff. Um, I'm not going to play the whole songs on all these because, you know, we're at limited time here. So whatever. Um, this one, I kind of went off script. I didn't actually do the drop till the, after the second chorus because this was the first song I did and I was just kind of following along, trying to figure out what he was doing. And then as I figured out, I was kind of doing it wrong, I guess. But then it worked out for the best because the way I arranged this song, I think the, the drop in this song worked best only at the, after the second chorus. So that's that. And then there was the third song I did, and then this, this was like a bonus song I did. I did some vocal chop, uh, chopping of vocals here at the end. Because um, you could make the arrangements any way you want. And again, these songs were all provided, the, the vocal tracks. I built all the music around the vocal tracks that they provided. So yeah, really cool stuff, and actually, this was actually the third song I did for the class. I'm sorry, I completely forgot because I did it a while ago. Uh, I did a fourth song separately from these songs. So this actually was the third song I did for the class. Uh, pretty cool stuff. You can check out the songs and stuff like that. But let's get back into some of the differences here and some of the, you know, the pricing and everything like that and some of, of masterclass.com as a whole and monthly.com as a whole because there is big differences to it. So in masterclass.com, like I said, the pricing at the time of making this video, it's an annual membership that you pay once a year or just for one year or whatever. There is a 30 day money back guarantee, like I said, at the time of making this video, and it includes all of their classes. And they have a, you know, not just music, they have so many other classes in here. For example, in the library here, Let's check out the music ones first because you're probably interested in music if you're watching this video. Uh, Quest Love, music curating, creation, and DJing, Alicia Keys songwriting, and producing, and I did all the music classes so far that are available. St. Vincent, creative, creativity, and songwriting. I did the ukulele class. I did Sheila E. drumming and percussion. I play a bunch of instruments, by the way. That's why I'm, you know, I'll probably never do a film score, but I watched the Dan Danny Elfman film scoring one. I'm in the process of watching the violin one here, uh, pro producing and beat making with Timberland, the art and soul of guitar with Carlos Santana, Tom Morello electric guitar, uh, the one we're talking about today, Herbie Hancock jazz, Hans Zimmer film scoring, Dead Mouse music production, another very in-depth music production course. I did a review on that as well. I did the Reba McIntyre country music. I did Christina Aguilera singing. And then there's Usher as well, performance. The art of performance so a lot a lot of stuff jam-packed in here for your membership and that's just the music classes there's um arts and entertainment so there's writing there's food there's business there's design and style there's sports and gaming science and tech home and lifestyle community and government wellness and then all that fun stuff so a lot there's a lot of writing ones too that i'm looking into it now i might have done them by the time you watch this video uh, storytelling writing. I have so many interests that I just find stuff fascinating. I did one on spray painting. I did one on wilderness survival. So a lot of really cool stuff jam-packed into masterclass.com for one price. So that's a that's a plus of masterclass.com. 
Now monthly.com, all their classes are separate prices and I've done a lot of them. Let's see here. I'm a, I did Steve Mackey Sing Like a Pro twice. I'm in the middle of doing it this time around, but I did it last month. I did the Andrew Wong Complete Music Production. I did the Charlie Puth Pop Songwriting and Production with Charlie Puth. I did Hit Making, hit, hit making for Producers with Louis Bell. I did the Ryan Tedder. I did the Blanks. Uh, and of course, Kygo here. And then, yeah, so there's a lot of them in here. Now, these are all different price, or they're all separate prices. So every class is individually priced. The price of the Kygo one, if one class on, on, on monthly.com is more expensive than the whole year membership of masterclass.com. Are they worth it? I believe so. And I probably would not have said that if I didn't show you that I just did all of them. Um, and here's why, because the monthly.com ones are totally more immersive and, and kind of, um, you know, you're, you're totally immersed in the process and you're doing the projects as you go along with the class and you have deadlines that you got to fulfill to get the feedback and stuff like that. Now, some of the classes um, that I've taken, uh, the actual instructors of the classes will drop in and leave feedback. They say on their pages, I've never seen it happen. I've seen the Ryan Tedder one where he made a video that's on the One Republic YouTube channel where he goes through songs that were produced in his class and he gives feedback on them. So that's kind of cool. But don't, you know, don't expect that to happen if you take these classes. Um, that could happen, but it's, you know, you get peer feedback from the people in your peer and that's usually about 20 people. Although when I did the Steve Mackey one the first time, there was like 50 people in there. Um, and they also have another thing too, but they called Monthly Plus. Now, I think this is only available after you do one of the classes because you you know put in the comments below if you can see this if you're not a member because once I became a member or did one of the classes I got this offer to join monthly plus where you can do a, um you pay for the whole year and then you get discounts on the the classes like to, for example for myself uh, annual membership is two hundred dollars. And then I get a discount, so the class today would be sixty dollars. But that might be because I already took the class once. Because once you take the class once, you can take them again at a discount price. And you might say, "Well, why would you want to do that?" Well, because you get the peer feedback again, which is really cool. And you do have access to all of the. I can go back into the Ryan Tedder class. Um, see the membership price and stuff like that. So if you get an annual membership here, then the price is cheaper than what it is normally. And of course, these prices all can change. Now the $20 credit helps out as well because I've made reviews on lots of these classes and I got $20 credits from a lot of people just for doing reviews. And in fact, at the end of the class, they're gonna ask you to pop up a review or whatever. You don't have to, but I mean, it's something you could do. I, I did it because I like making the review videos and stuff like that. So, um, jam-packed with information and stuff. Um, I think they're both worth it, and they're, but they're both very different. Like I said, you know, masterclass.com is more um, part, some of the classes are more part le lecture, and you're just kind of observing things. Now, it depends on what level you're coming at as well, because I have no idea if you're an absolute beginner, you never touched any of this stuff. If you're, you know, been using, you know, a DAW for a long time and you know what you're doing, obviously you gotta take that into consideration as well. Um, so, uh, and I, they do have a, I think a five day money back thing. If you k jump out of the class, say, okay, it's not for me. I believe there's a five day within the first five days, you can cancel and get your money back. Um, again, that's at the time I'm making this video. I guys God's going to stress that because you could be watching this video five years from now or whatever, and it could be different by then. So a lot of rare, really, really cool stuff going on in all these classes. Let's go back to here. Um, I, like I said, I did, you know, all the music production classes in monthly that are available tonight. Now there's like six, and then there's the singing one um, as well, which is really, really cool. I did the Dead Mouse one on, on, uh, on here as well, masterclass.com, and all the other music classes. So in that aspect, yes, you're gonna have a, you, you spend less money at masterclass.com, and you don't have the totally immersive experience. Um, so they're both really good. They're both really cool. Obviously, I wouldn't be making videos about them if they were, you know, horrible. And, you know, I wouldn't be have done so many of their classes already. <laughs> so 
Um, yeah. Now, as I mentioned, the Armen comes with a Logic Profile 2. Uh, this part was kind of disappointing. It was one of his songs, and it was disappointing in the fact that he used third, all these third-party plugins that I don't have, so the, it didn't really, it opened in my Logic program, but it didn't, uh, I don't have the plugins he has, so it kind of was pointless. Um, so that's a con of his class, but you know, I don't know. But some of the major differences, again, he, he goes into DJing, he goes into all that kind of stuff. Um, so and it's more like there's some business advice and stuff like that as well. Other than that, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And that is all for now, and I will talk to you soon.